Hey, how's it going? It's Diane Banks, voice actress, radio personality in Chicago, and I hope you'll subscribe because you're a Disney fan like me. Uh, check out my other vids too, my latest for you, if Disney animated Game of Thrones. And this is what the thumbnail looks like if you want to take a peek at that. Uh, we're going to talk about Toy Story 4 today, which looks pretty good, pretty exciting. I hope you're excited about it like I am. Let me know in the comments if you're ready for it. Um, there are going to be some spoilers in this video and some concept and other goodies, so if you don't want to know what's going to happen, just hold your ears for parts of it. <laughs> but of course you want to know. I want to know. Um, so what happened with the Disney peeps at Oh My Disney, they traveled to Pixar Animation Studios, talked to the animators to find out, well, what's going on with Toy Story 4? What do we have to look forward to? First up, the big question, where has Bo been? Um, and the big news there was that, well, we know she was part of a baby lamp in Andy's sister's room. And just to give you a, a little back history here in case it's been a while since you've seen the original Toy Story. She hasn't been around since the second one so there she is. That's what she looked like at the time. She has a new look as you can see here. We'll talk about that too. But anyway she was a baby lamp in Addie's sister's room. She was given away a long time ago. No! Life was different for Bo, but she didn't sit around. She decided long ago to make the best of her situation, pick herself up by her bootstraps, and stand on her own two porcelain feet. I love that. So that sounds pretty cool for her for this one out. Uh, how has she changed for Toy Story 4? Well, after being on her own for so long, she certainly was uh, coming into her own, developed as a character. They said it was important for her to distinguish her outlook from Woody's um, and she again they said she was gathering dust until she took it upon herself to step out into the world went from the baby lamp to a lost toy fierce not afraid to step into the fray and get things done so she's she looks like a superhero in a way she's kind of cool I don't, I don't think they gave her superhero powers but she looks pretty cool doesn't she and then um, and then this too this is more of her updated look so she's looking more like this now I think I got another shot of her too of course that's the old well that's really that's concept art from the beginning and then here's where we are with her now pretty cute okay so um, what's the biggest thing that's ever happened to you they would ask Woody he would say meeting Bo Peep so that's why she's super important for this uh, coming back in in the fourth stall installment of the movie um, and then there was some good nuggets here to share with you about the movie in Peep. Let me see. There's, there's, there's so much content here. I tried to parse it down for you um, into the, the little nuggets as to what's important. But let me find that shot of her. Um, okay, so it says here she doesn't have time to celebrate. Bo. She's about to leave Molly's room for good. And by the way, they had a whole team Bo they hired like four or five years ago just to work on her character for the movie. So what happened was uh, little Molly decides to give away Bo. And, and you might remember her. There's Molly with all of her little critters. I don't even see Bo on the pack here. I think that was the one she wasn't in. But anyway, she doesn't have time to celebrate. She's about to leave Molly's room for good. Being a baby lamp, she's given away a lot sooner than the other toys. Once a little girl turns five or six, she's like, that's for babies. I don't want that anymore. While the other toys stay with Andy and they're later given to Bonnie, Bo begins a journey all her own. So poor little Bo. She, uh, she gets dumped, basically. And there's a little piece of concept art of her looking very powerful. Um, yeah, like I said, they, they were assembled five years ago. Team Bo, which I love that. Um, and of course they got the voice actors together, Annie Potts and Tom Hanks, and they were able to do some of the recording sessions together. So we get that nice relationship chemistry. And I like this part, too. Um, the director says there's a ton of adventure in this movie. Raiders, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark isn't a love story, but it has great romantic elements in it. So I, I think it's kind of more like that. So this will be kind of like a cool Raiders vibe. I love that. Um, can't wait to see it. June 21st, by the way. Uh, okay, let's see. The, and they also, I thought this was interesting too. They talk about Woody and, and Bo's relationship. 
And he says it was almost like a Lady in the Tramp analogy, where one's out in the world asking, why wouldn't you want all this, which is Bo. And the other one, which is Woody, says, no, I want to be at home. Out of anyone, Bo has a potential to change Woody more than anything ever has. So I just think this is a great concept, and I think a great story for this movie. And I'd love to know what you think uh, in the comments. Now, what about what happens to Bo before she gets all superpower cool here? I guess if we go back to her roots, um, we find out that she could have gone through, they said, a lot of possibilities. Did she end up in a thrift store on the street? How far can we push it, said the animators. They explored every possible thing she could have gone through, knowing eventually she'd end up in an antique store. So that's where she ended up. Uh, they toyed with the idea, no pun intended, I guess. She's a survivalist character. She and the other toys would repair themselves to make it out of the antique store. So there we get a, an idea of what's going to happen. Contemplated having her retire as a figurine and that kind of thing. But um, again, she, she is now a full-on toy. Um, let's see if there's any other nugget in here before we move on. Uh, oh yeah, this was cool. They have the fragility of porcelain right up against the needs of an action hero and it's a pretty dynamic combination uh, combination she's graceful and strong much like a dancer or a gymnast which is funny because a few minutes ago when they were saying uh, her porcelain feet I was thinking like a ballerina uh, so they thought about strong female athletes they studied them and all that kind of goodness and um, so one of the other things that I thought was cool that I wanted to share when they talk about that, her, um, you know, being strong and everything was her, let me just show you that concept art again real quick. Where did I put it? Here. They said that um, because she's made of porcelain and she's been through so much, what they did here in the concept art and then they ended up doing in the movie too is that look for little bandages and things where her porcelain had broken over the years and she'd been like glued back together so you can see here her bandages so we'll have to look for that um, in the movie as well and then there's the other piece of concept we saw where she's looking pretty strong and powerful and I want to know what you think, though, in terms of her character change. Do you like it? I have to say, I didn't really recognize her at first because she's so different. I think it's because they lost the bonnet, which is fine. But it, I think it's that her eyes are different, too. Notice they're more rounder than they are here. They're, they're sort of more almond-shaped in her previous iteration. But I'd love to know what you think here, too. She looks kind of kind of Barbie-ish, but she's definitely a very strong character. I don't know who this little cutie is. I guess we're going to meet. Um, but I would love to know what you think, if you like her character changes. And any other thoughts that you have on Toy Story 4. Here's how cute the spork taking a walk with Woody. So there's a kind of behind-the-scenes little clip. And they came up with some nice poster art for the film. June 2019, June 21st. This one we saw. Um, and then again, here's her look, her new look. Spork is spazzing out in the corner there. And there, how could you give away our bow? Oh, actually, it was, or was it Andy that gave her away? Now I'm getting confused. But anyway, somebody gave the poor little ballerina away. Um, those two are going to be funny in the movie, I think, too. So these I'll give you a link for. I thought this was pretty cute. Now, whether you have kids who love to color or you're a kid at heart and, you know, coloring is big for adults now, too, they have some really cute coloring pages um and <laughs> like this and then they have i thought these were neat too that you can download as well recipes road trip snack mix billy goat and gruff grub with our new bow and she's watching out for her sheep in this movie they remind me of the aardman animation sheep if any of you guys ever watch those movies like wallace and gromit and all that stuff they, they look a lot like them i think uh, but here's a recipe for this road trip snack mix and i'll give you the link so you can load that and then this Cran Pop Kaboom, and here's our, a new character we're going to meet in this movie. Road trips can be fun, exciting adventures. Take along your snacks. Road trip snack mix. And then here's the recipe how you make that one. So I thought those were cute. And I mean, if this is any indication, this movie is going to be awesome, don't you think? Really looking forward. They gave us some great concept art here of Bo as Team Bo was preparing her. Here she is in her old look. We first meet Scamming Playtime, and there she is in her travel costume. And I love that they've given her knapsack 
the look of her skirt, which maybe she turns that into a knapsack. You never know when she's traveling. Her base and her skirt. And then we move here to play mode, which again, using the skirt concept into her cape. I will have to see if all of these are actually in the movie because these are concepts, so I don't know. Here's her stealth look with a different dark cape and then her normal bow. So just to give you an idea of some of the concept that Team Bow went through to get her look. And then we're back around here. And again, let me know what you think in terms of her old look versus her new look. And I thought this was kind of neat. I pulled this from the archives when they first announced way back when that the movie was coming out. Look at this. The characters are all distracted and excited. Looking for more information from the computer. Source the internet for sources to find out more about Toy Story 4. Could it really be true? Um, but the most funny, interesting part's coming up. Uh, in fact, it was correct. Really correct that Toy Story 4 is coming. Celebration! But again, this was from the archives. More cheering and general glee. Hugged everyone around us. Happened to a, a, a combination of news and excitement. Yeah, that one's okay. Uh, the only problem, this is the part I thought was funny. The only problem, we have to wait until 2017. So back when they announced it, they thought it was going to be out in 2017. And look at that. It took two more years, which means um, I'm hoping that it's even, even better than we would have expected. So then back to this coloring stuff here. I'll give you a link. This is from, oh, my Disney uh, actually Disney Family and they give you all of this cuteness here to look at and then the download here all you gotta do is click on the download PDF or you can print it and the print uh, button is up here at the top so you can either print them for the kids or yourself or download the PDF and then if you're gonna do a download just to give you an idea what it looks like there is Woody and Buzz and the new guy, whatever his name is, maybe you know. And our girl, I forgot her name now. Oh, I'm blanking. Shame on me. Wait, what's her name? Tell me in the comments. I'm forgetting. There's Bo and her sheep. And then these are little critters from before Toy Story 4 and the cute dino. So they give you a lot of stuff here. Um, and then, and this one we saw. And then you get, these are cute too, these game cards you can download. Of course, you got to use up some of the ink from the color printer, but these are pretty cute. These are like memory game cards. You can play games. Um, and then a lot of those, a lot of memory game cards. And then these are those road trip snack mixes I was telling you about. You can download these and the recipes. <laughs> so cute. I love those. But, um... Oh, that's going to bug me now. Jesse! <laughs> Isn't it funny how your brain works like that? All of a sudden, it just pops in. It was Jesse! She's over here looking at me going, I can't believe you didn't remember my name. Jesse! And if you're a really good Disney fan, Pixar, tell me in the comments who the actress is who does her voice. All right, so uh, like I said, this is the thumbnail from the last vid I did. Thanks to everybody on Instagram, too, who's leaving their love. Like, I am Sandra Elizabeth and Scott Duong Photography. But don't forget to please subscribe. It's Diane Banks. Definitely let me know your thoughts on Toy Story 4 if you're excited about it like I am. <laughs> or upset we didn't get it in 2017. All right? So take care. We'll talk soon.